Good day class. So here the example we're going to solve in our topic motion along straight line. So first we're going to take the example of displacement, time, and average velocity. So the problem states the car travels in the positive x-axis direction on a straight and level road for 4.00 seconds of its motion the average velocity of the car is 6.25 meter per second. How far does the car travel in 4.00 seconds? So first, we are going to identify the given. So the given here. So velocity average is equal to 6.25 meter per second and also time which is 4.00 seconds so what is required so required is the x so here is the illustration of the problem so a car so this is the car Travel to the X station. So, mas na pita. So this is a car. So, so the distance here is the required, the X. So the formula of the velocity is. Velocity average is equal to the x over time. So, therefore, x is equal to v times time. Which is, the velocity is 6.25 meter per second multiplied by the time which is 4.00 seconds so our x now is x x is equal to 25 meter so let us proceed to the second example of displacement time and average velocity so You normally drive the freeway between San Diego and Los Angeles at an average speed of 105 km per hour or 65 miles per hour and the trip takes 1 hour and 50 minutes. On a Friday morning afternoon, however, heavy traffic slows you down and you drive the same distance at average speed of only 70 km per hour or 43 miles per hour. How much longer does the trip take? So first also we are go going to identify the given. Given is velocity of 1 sa atong sa primero niyang kwan between San Diego and Los Angeles. So 105 kilometer per hour or equal to 29.167 meter per second I convert lang na siya so time 1 is equal to cover niya only 1 hour and 50 minute or equal to 6600 seconds or equal to 110 minutes and uh, second one its second velocity is average velocity pag tong traffic na siya so 70 km per hour na kagin sa traffic so hinay na yung dagan so it was also is 119.444 meter per second so the t2 here is unknown so 
there's an illustration so a point here and point here so this is San Diego and Los Angeles so the X or the distance so going here it is home uh, so going here yeah velocity is hindi sa 1 statement 1 in the back pag back niya may statement 2 so we pass about x 1 or the dis displacement 1 and displacement 2 are equal so thus x1 is equal to x2 so we all know that x is equal to velocity times time so that's why v1 times t1 is equal to v2 times t2 so v1 is 29.167 meter per second multiplied by time which is 6600 seconds the second term or seconds ang nako para makomod ang pareho term then V2 is 19.444 meter per second multiplied by the T2. So, ano ni is T2. That's why T2 is equal to 29.167 multiplied by 6600 divided by 19. 0.444 so t2 here is equal to 9900.339 seconds or equal to 2.75 hours or equal to 2 r and 45 minutes or equal to 165 minutes convert lang lang yun sa so ang how time longer does the tape take so unsa pak unsa ka ko an ng for example di yaman cover for only 1 hour and 50 minutes so unsa na siya pilay gilabaw pa na nga time nga yang gi cover pa pauli nga naka encounter siya og traffic so that's why T is equal to T2 minus T1. So the difference of the total travel nila. So T is equal to 165 minutes minus 110 minutes. So T is equal to 55 minutes. So one is yang travel niya longer sa yang travel first, which is to 1 hour and 50 minutes or 110 minutes. So next, we are going to have an example of instantaneous velocity. So the problem is, a bird flying due west and its distance from the tall building is given by the, the equation. X to the function of t is equal to 28.0 meter plus 12.4 meter per second t minus 0. 0.0450 meter per second cube t cube. So what is the continuous velocity in a bird when t is equal to 8.00 second? So first we are going to identify the given. So the given here is the distance. So the distance is equal to the equation which is x to the function of t is equal to 28.0 meter plus 12.4 meter per second t minus 20.0.0450 meter per second cube t cube and the time at time 8.00 seconds 
So, illustration is sample. This is a building. So, building is a tall building. So, this is a bird. So, flying toward the far along sa building. So, it is only siyang B, which is which is given na function. So, the derivative of the distance or the displacement is equal to the velocity. So, the equation which is x the function of t is equal to 28 plus 20t 12.4 t minus 0 0.04 50 t cube so the derivative the we de going to derive the equation so d over dt then d over dt so where the velocity na siya. so velocity is equal to so the derivative of the constant is zero plus the derivative of the constant uh, variable with a power of one is one so that's why 12.4 minus the constant uh, 450 then the derivative of t t cube is 3t squared so velocity is equal to 0 plus 12.4 minus 0 0.0450 times t times which is time is 8 seconds that's 8 seconds so 8 squared so velocity now uh, so 12.4 minus the product which is 8.64 so Velocity now is 3.76 meter per second. So the velocity of the bird at 8.0 seconds is 3.76 meter per second. So next we are going to have an example uh, average and instantaneous acceleration. So the problem state here that a car velocity as a function of time is given by the velocity for the function of time is equal to alpha plus beta t squared. So, where alpha is 3.00 meter per second and beta is equal to 0 0.100 meter per cube, uh, second cube. First, A, calculate the average acceleration of the time interval t0 to t is equal to 5.00 seconds. Calculate the Instantaneous acceleration for 2, t is equal to 0, and t is equal to 5.00 second. So, also, first we are going to identify the given. The given is this function of time is equal to alpha plus beta t squared. So, where Alpha is equal to 3, 3.00 meter per second and beta is equal to 0 0.100 meter per second cube. So required ang ipangita. is uh, a so uh, acceleration average average then b is acceleration instantaneous acceleration so solution so, b is a function of t is equal to so, we're going to substitute the alpha and beta. So, alpha is 
3.00 meter per second plus beta which is 0 0.100 meter per second cube then t cube t squared so we are going to differentiate the, the uh, equation so d over dt the function of v uh, vt v as a function of t is equal to 3.00 0 plus 0 0.100 t squared d over dt so now going to acceleration so acceleration at at zero so derivative of the constant is zero plus zero point one hundred then two t so acceleration zero is equal to zero plus zero point one hundred two times zero is equal to zero. So second as solution of five seconds so zero plus zero point one hundred two t so it's equal to zero plus zero point one hundred two times five so solution of five is equal to one meter per second squared so the average uh, the average acceleration is equal to the sum of the two the uh, e zero e e five at five minus acceleration at zero over two so it's equal to one minus zero over two is equal to zero point five meter per second squared. So this this is our our average acceleration. So the derivative of the time at uh, the uh, function uh, equation at, at that specific time. So that will be our instantaneous velocity. So acceleration and the new velocity at zero is equal to zero. Then the uh, continuous velocity at five is equal to one meter per second squared. So this will be our solution. So next we are going to have an example on motion with constant acceleration. So the Problem state that until of moving with constant acceleration covers the distance between two points 70 meter apart in 6 seconds. Its speed as it passes the second point is 15.0 meter per second. So what are or its speed at the first point and its acceleration? So first we are going to identify the event. The given here, so the velocity is at point two, which is fifteen meter per second, and the x, which is seventy meter. So, so many shots here until. 
ang dilok. Tapos, first, ang dilok na nagkaroon sa point 2. Kung muna siyang point 1 and point 2. Na. So, ang isya na point is 70 meter. So, sa velocity niya saan, may siya hindi pagita. Ang velocity to which is 15 meter per second. So, formula as a motion with constant acceleration. So, x is equal to one half v one plus v two times t. So, the x is seventy is equal to one half. V1 is unknown plus V2 which is 15 and times the time is so at time is 6 seconds so uh, P is equal to 6 6 seconds so 6 so that's why EV1 is equal to 70 minus 45. Okay. Call on each other. EV1 6 divided by 2 is 3. Then multiply this as 1. EV1 plus 3 times 15 is 45. Maling, so 70 PV1 is equal to 70 minus 45. So, divide by 3, 3 to V1 is equal to 8.33 meters per second. So, ang muna siya ang at speed niya at na first point. So, speed at first point. So, sa second required na ito is iya ang acceleration. So, sa acceleration, we are going to the constant acceleration na formula, which is B2 squared minus B1 squared is equal to 2 times acceleration times the delta X which is 70. So, V1 is 15 squared minus 8.33 squared is equal to 2 times acceleration times uh, 70. So, 2A is equal to 225 is square, square of 15 minus square of 8.33.69.39 over 70. So, dapat na ito itong ang ano, ang 2. So, A is equal to so, tutok pa minus 69.39. So, 155.61 over 2 times 70 So 155.61 over 140. So that's why our acceleration is 1.112 meters per second squared. So, how much are we talking about velocity and its acceleration? So next, we're going to have a last, our last example. It's all about free falling bodies. So, a problem state that if a play, play a can jump straight up to the height of 0.440 meter. What is its initial speed at its leaves the ground, and how long its 
in the air. So given, I'm going to specify the given. So given is so yeah. Mula sa lebar na, tulad ng isa at sa particle sa particle. So ambak siya dili nga portion. So tani siya the height is zero point four forty four meter. So, the part na ito, on is A is the velocity and B is the time. So, at A, so we're going to have the equation of the um, vertical or y-axis, vertical equation, so B minus B B B two minus B one is equal to two times gravity and the delta delta y. So we need some y that up. Atong tanis dito is kaya kung abot sa sa taas abot sa sa taas so yeah stop so zero so zero yung velocity so zero so B1 is equal to square times squared. B1 is equal to 2 times 9.8 and 0 0.440. So this B1 is equal to, B1 squared is equal to 8.624. So the square root, the square root, so V1 is equal to 2.94 meter per second. So the ang velocity sa starting niya, niya again, before siya nilive sa ground, is 2.94 meter per second. So, in-neglect mo na to sa second, in-neglect na to ang ama rear resistance. So pagpadalong siya sa taas, ang sa down, is pareho ra ang time so t q1 to q t is equal to time total travel is t to to t to t1 so that's why that's atong equation na B two minus B one is equal to meter T T T T. So T is equal to B Y minus B two over negative gravity. So T is equal to zero minus two point ninety four over 9.8 that side t is equal to 0 0.3 seconds so so that then the time total travel t total is equal to 2t which is 2 times 0 0.3 seconds which is equal to 0 0.6 seconds so wala siya ang iyang total pag up and balik sa ground so that's all for our motion along the straight line problem so thank you and God bless everyone